Hi everybody, it's your Bo, Bo the Doggo. And today I'm trying a game called The Little Acre, that is a point and click game. And that's actually a new experience for me, because I haven't played point and click games before. Not other than um, Flash games and such. So yeah, it's a fully hand-drawn game with hand-drawn animations and everything. And I've heard it had a really cool story and beautiful soundtracks, like the one we can hear in the background. But yeah, with no further ado, let's dive right into it! Wow, I really love the hand-drawn thingies. She became a human? Who oh, is loading? I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Oh, so I, oh, it started, okay. Boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. So where's my trousers? Okay. Where are my trousers? Morning, Dougal. Hey, Dougal. Give me that stick, boy. If I was to get that stick from Dougal, I had to time it just right. Come on, Dougal. Be a good boy like me. My trousers were just out of reach. Oh, so that's why I need a stick. Should I grab it while he's John? Yoink. Yeah, boy. Okay, so I use the stick on this. Oh, cool. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. So maybe I should give it to the dog then? Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still pulling it. So. Oh, Should I throw this in her mouth, maybe? I wasn't about to start throwing food around the room. <laughs> but I had a good reason, at least. Oh, okay. Uh, should I throw the stick then? I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches. Oh. I'm still out of reach. That's cool. <laughs> we use a sandwich again. I should be able to get the trajectory right. Oh, that's a good boy. That's my dog. He wasn't gonna just let me take it, but maybe he'd be interested in a trade. You want this thick boy? There you go. <laughs> Bye, dog. That was my cue to sneak out of there. So can I just get out of there now? Yeah. <laughs> I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Okay, so your dad is gone. Okay. Uh. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. 
No, oh, yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. Oh, I'll hear London soundtrack. If I went back up there, I'd wake Lily. I did not want to do that. Oh, okay. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna make Lily breakfast. I totally missed that. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. <laughs> okay, maybe we go out. And... Oh, this is the part from uh, the place from the start menu. Did I get a mail? Letters. Thank you for your application for the position of repair clerks and boys and sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. Oh. While I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable of the role, I should think you would be well suited to more than demanding occupation. Perhaps at the new hydroelectric dam with your father. I wish you every success in your future endeavors. Kindest regards, Sean Boyle, owner and manager. Oh, that's so bad. Strange lights? Unemployment rates and immigration on the rise. Rumors around regarding strange lights in the countryside. Okay, and there's a package. Oh, it's a package for my father. Oh. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if I had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Oh, we're gonna snoop around now. Let's snoop around over here. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was Anya's favorite place to have a picnic. Uh -huh. Anya's like, like a sister or something maybe? Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. Oh, so it's like magic or something. No, he's an engineer. Right. Should I go in again? Maybe? Because I got the mail now, so... Wow, I really like... Oh! There's more of a room. I really enjoy this uh, hand animated things. Uh, the hand animation. <laughs> oh, was it? No. Was it his wa wife, maybe? Or is it his sister? No, it should be his wife. I think he relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. Okay, I guess I'll check the garden then. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Maybe I should use a crystal on the... Uh, could you use a crystal on the transmitter, maybe? Mm. Nah. Oh, oh, okay. Don't. Oh, this is so pretty. 
skeleton soul. To collect the water first. Oh, I got what you need, boy. This stuff, no. Why can't? There you go. Oh no! The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Do we have something heavy? Let's check the garage. Or the shed. <laughs> the door wasn't locked, but something was blocking on the other side. Ah, oh, too bad. Jack converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd only spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering. But it had been days, and there was no sign of him. Hmm. So his dad was an engineer as well. The handle was broken. Yeah. I know this. Could there is a handle to open the door? Ooh! That's cool. Get in there. I'm a smart doggo. Oh. I guess I it could use like this. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. I couldn't see a thing, and the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things, made me nervous. Yeah, he really sounds like the accepted guy. <laughs> but I guess that's because it's uh, this is taking place in Ir on Ireland. I've had better ideas. Okay, I'm sorry. What is that even? Oh, a light switch. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I haven't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. But you don't want to start the generator. Why are you like this? Why are you doing this to me? Do you want to start the generator now? Okay, so I got the pitchfork. Maybe I can use that to fix the, the broken pump. Wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Maybe if I use it on the stump. Woo! Yet another impressive <coughs> feat of engineering. Oh yeah. Oh, so now's the hammer. <laughs> use hammer with the broken pump. Yay! Well, Let's make breakfast! Okay, so I suppose I have to cook the water, maybe? Yes? No? 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 Okay. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. <laughs> she sounds like a wild man. Wow, these animations are so pretty. Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside. Or <laughs> eating. Oh. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Dude, you need water. Notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Aww, Lily spent. left her fuzz above here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Hmm, okay. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cool. Shortly after resigning from his position at the hydroelectric power station, Dad set up a few light bulbs in his room. They were connected to a machine which appeared overly complex for the purpose of powering a few bulbs. Mm -hmm. I suppose there's more to it. I didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use though. <laughs> oh! Cool! And what's in the boxes? It looked like he had rifled through his belongings in a hurry. Either that, or Lily had been searching for clues. 
I wonder what Lily's doing here then. Oh, okay, that was the machine. Let's go get some water. No! Wait, uh, I got a water on me. Get in there. Okay, jug of water. There, that should keep it cool. So it's just to start. It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. Oh, of course. Oh no, so many buttons. Uh, uh, the notes indicate okay, that I'm the water could be top Oh, the, the crystal! I presume of the machine course. wouldn't work without coolant. Just put the crystal there. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. Ooh. Okay, the three lib. The lib label lib. on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Okay. Oh no. So it weighs three. And the ohm is at the four. Oh! The whole wall was covered in writing. What may this be? With the machine generating power, there was some writing on the wall made visible by the light of the bulbs. Some of it was obscured by sunlight, though. Oh, right. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? Oh, I know, boy. Dad had a habit of... Apparently he must oh, have... Yeah, yeah. I know why he wanted to remember it. Let's see... Dit, 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 dit. <gasps> whatever yeah. I did... Cause the machine in the back garden to power up. Now I can get back into the shed and there will be light. Let there be light, he said. And there will light. Cool. Get in there. Okay, let's see. Can I turn the light on? Sure enough. The oh, lights on awesome. whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. There was a large machine in the middle of the shed with what looked like sliding doors. Dad, you better not be stuck in there. I hope he's not, because I'm going to check over here first. No. I'll find a way to blame it on the dog. But the thing! The shed was mostly filled with junk as far as I could tell. But there was a familiar looking box sitting atop the shelves. Uh, now I can use the mask to, to get up there. Oh well. Is there anything I can use to get up there? Oh, a footstool, of course. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's really handy. And I know where to use it. Let's see. The footstool there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. The machine appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. <laughs> okay, get this thing first. A puzzle box. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. Okay, and what's in here? There's a small keyhole in the back, but like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. Hmm. The machine appeared to be waiting for something. 
Mm, okay. Oh, well. Oh! There was a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam. Your dad used to work. Hmm, okay. So I guess I will go give Lily the the puzzle. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. Hmm. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box. Whenever possible, I try to avoid taking the blame for waking Lily. Okay. Dougal, I think it's your turn to wake Lily up. Oh. So how do we wake Lily? Do we use a mask, maybe? <laughs> Lily was fearless, even with the way she got out of bed. <laughs> Sorry you had to take the blame for that one, Dougal. Well, Lily seems nice. Should we give it a box now? Uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Right. Okay, it's just so she doesn't talk. Oh! Oh, she did a dance! Right! Oh, I have. Gotta ask her again. How did that dance go again? Maybe it was... Oh, it says... Finger stop. Oh, finger stop. Yeah! The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box, there is a small key where the tasty treat should have been. Okay, let's use the key in the shed then. It's probably going to the machine. Exciting! So, if I use this key on the keyhole, what will happen? Looks about the right side. Hey! Oh no! <laughs> so hungry. Need breakfast. Oh, so I get to play as Lily now. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's <laughs> porridge. What could go wrong? Yeah, just... Check. Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. It's empty! Oh no! <gasps> okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. <laughs> okay, I, I know where the, the bowl are. Ugh, Dad tied a knot around the handle again. He must be trying to keep you away from the bowls, Dougal. <laughs> Oh, there, oh, there are those. <laughs> okay, so I guess I need to. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Such a good dog. <laughs> this is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? Oh, I can juice him with stuff. Dougal probably would have fetched the oats if I asked him, but I didn't trust him not to eat them. <laughs> okay, maybe juice him with the cupboard. Dougal, attack that string. 
good boy. Isn't a good boy. <laughs> oh, poor Dougal. <laughs> okay, now it's just how to get up here. Oh, I can walk with her. Okay. Maybe I should distract him somehow. Hmm. Hey Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. Now he's again. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> No, <laughs> what oh, that poor doggy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> actually, when I saw the picture of this game, I actually fell for the dog. <laughs> so that's why I clicked in on this game. Okay, let's see now. Let's prep this. Oh no! Dougal catch it! Yay! <laughs> Such a good boy. Wait till I hear I did this all by myself. Hang on. Where is Dad? <gasps> Where is Dad? Oh, he's small like Lily. Hello? Wakey, wakey. Should I click him? For a moment, oh. I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different. But it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Oh well, I think it's time to end it there. Um, so where are we? Well, let's find out next time on Pets Play with me, Bo the Doggo. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and a comment on this video. And we'll see you next time. Take care everyone.